As we head towards fall, it's a critical time for the nearly 5 million children across the U.S. who live with asthma. That's one in 15 children. Asthma is the most common chronic disease in kids and a big reason why children miss school. On average, kids with asthma miss two or more days each year than their classmates. About nine out of 10 children with asthma have allergic asthma. This means their asthma symptoms are triggered by allergens like pollen, dust, mold, or even animal dander. Children who have a family history of asthma live near high amounts of air pollution in urban areas or in lower income households can also be at higher risk. But here's something you might not realize. Every September, doctors see a predictable rise in asthma related ER visits and hospital stays. We call this asthma peak month and it usually affects kids first. What's behind this increase? Kids go back to school and are exposed to respiratory illnesses, which spread easily in crowded indoor spaces. Poor indoor air quality in many school buildings, especially older ones, is also a concern. On top of that, ragweed pollen and other weed pollens peak in early fall, mold counts often go up, and even extreme weather and wildfires can compound these issues. So how can you help your child be prepared ahead of this September surge? It's all about being proactive. Schedule an appointment with your child's doctor or asthma specialist now. Be ready to discuss current symptoms, medications, and known triggers. Together, you can create a treatment plan to guide how you manage their asthma and avoid triggers. Ask your child's doctor about an asthma action plan. This plan helps identify your child's asthma symptoms and know exactly which medicines they should take and when. The key is to follow the plan early and know your child's asthma zones. If they hit the caution yellow zone, take action quickly to get back into the go green zone. Know your child's early warning signs so they can begin asthma treatment. Sometimes you can tell when an allergic asthma episode is coming on before they experience common asthma symptoms like shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, or chest tightness. Treating early can reduce the need for an emergency room visit. Asthma is controllable so your child can sleep, play, and learn. To be prepared ahead of the asthma peak and for more information, visit aafa.org slash asthma peak.